Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today for these few moments with our Good Shepherd. Our reading is from Isaiah chapter 55, reading verses 8 and 9. Certainly my plans are not your plans, and your ways are not my ways, says the Lord. Just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my plans are higher than your plans. When I was in school, I was blessed to have some very dedicated men who taught us what they knew. The problem was that they, their lectures often went over our heads. Not that they weren't interesting, they really were. It's just they were much deeper than we were ready to be able to think at that time. And that frustrated a number of us. And finally, we asked one of the professors if he could uh, bring his lecture down to our level because it was going over our heads. Well, we were humbled by his answer when he said, I aim my lectures where your heads ought to be. Who of us hasn't wondered why God says what he says in Scripture? Who of us hasn't wondered why God allows to happen things in our life or in the world around us that he allows. For instance, the uh, de destruction of countries or cities by natural disaster, the violent ending of life, the persecution of Christians. That all causes us to wonder if God would just let us in on his knowledge, bring his wisdom down to our level so we can understand what he's doing. But even if God did bring his thinking down to our level, we still couldn't understand it. As St. Paul says that uh, the foolishness of God is even wiser than our wisdom. Take, for example, our redemption through Jesus. Why didn't God just give us the ability to earn our own salvation? Or why, didn't, uh, why is faith in Christ the only way to heaven? Or how could the Father love us so much that he was willing to sacrifice his own son? Could we really ever understand God's thinking? In short, God, our creator and redeemer, is not going to lower his thinking to our plans or our level but he aims it where our heads ought to be. And his truth and his salvation are what they are. And that's everything. We pray. Lord, lift my heart and head to the level where my spirit ought to be. Amen. Well, thank you, everybody, for spending these moments with me, and may God bless you until we meet again.